Charles is here. We are ready for the weekend and some good news. Yeah, well, I have good news. So actually, <laughs> earlier this week, we were talking about a couple rain chances over the weekend. Yes. I've pulled them right out of oh, the forecast, excellent. Excellent. except for this evening and tonight. There's a small chance for a couple stray showers out there. But over the weekend, things are looking really, really nice. Here's a look at today's high temperatures. We tapped out in the mid to upper 50s. And typically for this time of the year, normal high temperature is right around 54. So a lot of us were about four degrees above that. We had 58 at O'Hare. 57 in Gary, 59 degrees in Kankakee, 58 in Rensselaer, and 55 degrees over in Aurora. So a very pleasant day, even though we are kind of locked in with that cloud cover. So your five-day forecast here over the next couple of days, we're going to be in the mid to upper 50s then. Saturday, again on Sunday, not a ton of sunshine in your Saturday forecast, but I think we're going to work things out by Sunday with a decent amount of sun. And then on Monday, showers are set to return, but that's not going to slow down our warming processes. Notice 65 degrees expected by Monday afternoon. Then we drop it back down to the mid 50s by Tuesday and Wednesday, but that's very seasonable for this time of the year. In fact, by Thursday through Monday, here's a check of the uh, temperature outlook for next weekend. And we're not favored to see above average temperatures, but we're also not favored to see below average temperatures, which means it looks like we're going to be spending the end of next week and next weekend right around where we should be. And that's going to put us in the lower 50s. So really pleasant temperatures over the next week or so. The satellite and radar, here's what we're working with right now. We do have a couple showers that are further off to our west, our northwest. It's very, very light rain. We still have a fairly dry air mass in place. So even as this rain begins to make its way across the region, a lot of it's going to evaporate as it falls. So sprinkles or maybe just some very light rain showers. That's it for this evening. Everywhere else, we're just basically seeing mostly cloudy conditions, and that's going to be the story all night long. So future cast taking us throughout the overnight. This low pressure system continues to make its way very slowly off toward the east. But by daybreak tomorrow, we're on the backside of this system. So typically when you're on the backside of a low pressure system, that's when you start to see your winds changing to be out of the north. That's exactly what's going to be taking place for tomorrow. So instead of having that southwesterly wind flow like we had today with winds coming out of the north, that's going to bring in temperatures just slightly cooler than where we were today. Again, this afternoon we are in the upper 50s, but tomorrow we're going to be in the low to mid 50s. High pressure builds in for Saturday night. So instead of seeing showers on Saturday night like what we were originally thinking, that's not even a concern whatsoever. We're going to have high pressure, which means clearing conditions, but because of the lack of cloud cover, Temperatures are actually going to be pretty chilly for us when we wake up Sunday morning in the 30s. Fortunately, with the help of sunshine, we're going to be able to heat things back up to the upper 50s. So right now it's 58. We are cloudy. We have southwesterly winds of 7 miles per hour. Most areas tonight dropping down to the low 40s. But for those of you in the far west, northwest suburbs, you can expect upper 30s. The seven-day forecast tomorrow, 55. We're going to be mostly cloudy to partly sunny. And then on Sunday, mostly sunny skies become partly cloudy. A couple showers are possible very, very late Sunday night, but more so on Monday morning. But high temperatures early next week going to be in the 60s. Dawn. Thanks, Emily.